I mean, even if we don't want to use the Gar example, Rock Lee would beat the brakes off Konohama realistically. <sighs> I mean, I, 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 I didn't say nothing. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I can't, I can't deny that. Like, like, I, okay. So for me, like for Kona Hammer, like I argue for him so much. Yeah, I liked I like where they were projecting him to be at this point where he should be based off of how they did him as a kid. And but the whole thing is like the lore, lore wise, he should honestly be Kate level. There's no reason why like the writing, the the trajectory they had him on, the lore, he should be fucking Kage level. Like the stu the first student of the the legendary seventh Hokage, the grandchild of the legendary third Hokage, a member of the one of the most prestigious clans in the Leaf Village. Fucking sorry, Toby clan. Like fucking he, he should be that dude. And honestly, I think in Borto part two he will be, similar to like a um Kakashi. In part one, he was so weak. But in part two, um, even even at the beginning of part two, he was still kind of cucked. But then towards like the war arc, he kind of went fucking goaded. So I think they're going to do something like that with a shake of uh, um, Konohamaru. But I don't know. We'll have to see. If you think Zabuza I, beats Konohamaru, then I understand why you ran so low. Zabuza obliterates Konohamaru. What? What? We forget. No, I was going to... Uh just change the topic a little bit I don't, I don't oh no, no real real quick i, I want to stand yeah, before, oh, one yeah, more right, second right. the thing the th my thing with konohama is that he's never really been a hard worker now i understand story-wise of course he was naruto's um what's it called um naruto's rival right. and of course that right there is a, a nice little story but realistically he didn't re he essentially took every a lot of things as a joke as a young kid and that right there could potentially be why as an adult he really just really doesn't have that work ethic. one thing that we do see again one thing that we do understand from naruto is that he gotten hacks after hacks after hacks after hacks not only that naruto did also work hard and i think konohamaru just didn't work to that level now i'm not saying that he didn't work of course he's a shinobi he, he, became, he became a jonin for a reason but I don't necessarily think that he put in the time as elite shinobis. He, I don't. I just think that his character didn't allow for that. So Konohamaru definitely worked hard. I mean, anyone who masters the Rasengan, I think we have to say they put in a great deal of work to do so. And also, wow, no, bored to learn in about a couple hours. Uh, a couple hours. Look, the passing of time with that was a little wonky. But uh, look, here is what I'll say, man. Konohamaru he didn't really have any adversity growing up like as a kid i think the most he ever faced was like the pain invasion and he kind of hold held his own and then from there he, he was too young to participate in the war and then after the war there was an era of peace where there was really no major major conflicts for him to kind of stretch out and be like there was no inciting incident for him to become that dude whereas like a naruto he kind of grew up he was at like the perfect age to where like shinobi shit was still real grimy bro like fucking um zabuza they like, motherfuckers are coming for your head and then he had like the akatsuki was on his ass so he had to get stronger there were there were things pushing naruto in that direction where konohamaru when he was in his apex his prime in his like late 20s or whatever where he is now era of peace no real need so i think he's a byproduct of like he he's too fucking He's, I, I would say he's too, he was too young for the smoke in Naruto Shippuden in Naruto part one. And he's fucking, um, and as a result of that, now that the gods are coming back within the landscape of the series and they're the current meta, he hasn't had a reason to get to that level. And I think now he does. And I think moving forwards, we're going to see something amazing from Konohamaru, at least in Boruto part two. Yo, to be honest, I, see, I like Konohamaru. I'll just put it like that. I like Konohamaru. I think the writers did him dirty. And one of the biggest reasons... Here's one of the biggest things that I personally think that should have drove Konohamaru. And similar... This is a similar... This is like a similar story to like a Neji, for example. But to a different extent. But Konohamaru... Should, for his adult his adolescent years he should have been he should have spent all that time trying to to kill orochimaru 100 percent 
I don't think it should have been any excuse where we're now in our board. So and he's just all buddy buddy with Orochimaru like nothing happened. I think that him losing his grandfather, we seen the emotion that came over Konohamaru. He know exactly who did it. He did. Orochimaru essentially said, come get it back in blood. And Konohamaru did absolutely nothing. Didn't wake up at 6 a.m. to go train. Didn't go. Didn't essentially read, read all the books about Orochimaru. Didn't find out where he was. Like for real. Not for example. And this, and again, just using the Naruto example because he's very similar to Naruto. Naruto didn't even lose anybody. He lost his, he his friend left on his own, and he could, and he and he made it his life mission. He made it his life mission to get stronger than Sasuke and bring him back. Konohamaru just never had that drive. Right I, now, don't be wrong. I think I think Konohamaru is a very good character. This isn't a referendum on Konohamaru at all, but I think the writers from the get go had uh, had an idea in mind for Konohamaru as being this playful childish guy that wouldn't necessarily achieve any sort of greatness now that right there is a problem with the board to rise i think because he was such a core member of the whole entire storyline he should have been at kage level by now this is all on the writers, but i think his character just didn't lend to that idea no, yeah, but I don't totally you agree. but don't you think like there's a narrative reason for why Konohamaru would have never wanted to kill Orochimaru. Like, I like your idea. It's one I never even thought about. It's fucking cool as shit. I think that would be like yeah, a really cool motivation. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, I think it's a dope ass motivation, actually. But I think, you know, in hearing you say that, like, I instantly thought of a narrative reason, and that would simply be Orochimaru serves a function for the Leaf Village. And Konohamaru is a is a fucking professional, if anything else. So there's no way he's going to put his own desires ahead of what's good for business, what's good for the Leaf Village. And that well, yeah, yeah. Pick up on it. I'm, I'm talking about Konohamaru even as a kid. Like a lot of this stuff gets instilled to you when you're when you're young. Naruto's hard work got instilled to him when he was young. Mm. Konohamaru, when he was disobeying damn near every single order, actually tried to strip his grandfather of the Hokage title every single day potentially even multiple times a day he wasn't really following rules it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility if konohamaru was actually strong enough to actually go get it back in blood but konohamaru just never had that drive you think i mean you think he would have been able to even can like i'm like oh, shit. that's the problem like, like the he never that tried he, to uh, that's yeah, the okay, problem what that's saying. what i'm saying he should have went after roshimaru but that would have been a death wish so honestly in my opinion but I, that, no, no. See, look. This is the overall problem. If Sa if Naruto originally tried to go back and actually fight Orochimaru to get Sasuke back, it would have been a death wish. But Naruto spent them three years with Jiraiya, building himself up. Also, of course, you know the Nine Tails played a very big part in that. After the time skip, he pulled up on Orochimaru, and it was on site. It was, and Orochimaru didn't even do. He didn't even kill any of Naruto's loved ones. Konohamaru never had that veracity. He never had that harbor. He never had that. He never had that that personality to do something like that. I just don't necessarily think he got the drive to be great from the get go. I don't know. Like I think anybody who's striving, if anyone who's striving to become a king, if anyone who wants who says they want to be Hokage, they're trying to be the king of their land. I think they got that drive. Now, how that manifests, I think we all just have to realize the writer is going to write, right? They fucking suck at writing sometimes. And they kind of drop the ball with Konohamaru very much so. And I think that's just the answer to the question. But I think in terms of the lore, like you said, the lore says that he should maybe want some smoke with Orochimaru. The lore says him being the student of the seventh, learning shadow clones, Rasengan, sexy jutsu, transformations and all that stuff. Him being the grandchild of the uh, third, him being a Sarutobi. The lore tells me he should be up there. Now, where the writers wrote him is different. I don't know. Look, it, look, he fucking he showed up with a Rock Lee. And in in ten ten and fucking Cho uh, Cho Choji and, and and Kiba Yamcha, he showed up with them versus Ishiki Otsutsuki, <laughs> and the last person standing was Konohamaru Saratobi, while everybody else was on the ass. I don't know what that means, but I think that might mean something. I think Konohamaru, unironically, might be the strongest Jonin in the village. I don't fucking. It means. It means absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> to be fair, that last part was a little cap. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> it means absolutely nothing. Hey, look, 
we could talk about this till we blow in the face. I just don't necessarily think that Konohamaru should be where he's at right now, but his personality led him to this place. Again, for example, let this is a perfect example. Oh my goodness. Let's say hypothetically Orochimaru kills kills the third Hokage, and this man actively tries to learn Sage Mode because of course that was is in, in his lineage, Senju and everything like that. He could have had Sage Mode from from he was a young kid till now and it made him immensely better naruto even said it like he's a lot better now than what he was when he first learned sage mode and konohamaru i don't even think that he's ever even tried to learn sage mode like let's keep it a g like then he just never had that drop uh, yeah, he, it's sage, um, mode. sage mode i don't why, why would he want to learn sage mode why wouldn't he no i'm saying like, like why specifically sage mode i don't understand that, that right there would just be a, a power up like getting any sort of power up Okay, okay. I thought you meant like specifically Sage Mode as it pertains to like Orochimaru and Hiruza. I, did, I just didn't get the connection is all. I, I don't know. But I feel uh, like any I would do. Yeah, I think Sage Mode would be pretty... Like Monkey King in my Sage Mode, I think that'd be pretty fucking sweet. Anything. Anything. Yeah. Like anything.